This video will show you how you can use an app called Tinker to create custom skins and resources to use in Minecraft. So I'm going to open up the Tinker app, which is available in self-service. And notice that it has a sign in button in the upper right hand corner. You shouldn't need to sign in. If you tap on workshop and then tap on where it says new Minecraft resource, what you can do is you can create different blocks, different items, different mobs, or you can also update the skin or really what the character looks like. And it comes with a number of preloaded skins that you can use as a starting point. I'm just going to tap on one as an example. And then it asks you to give access to the folder that you have on your iPad for Minecraft. Now this unfortunately only works for the non-education edition, so you can tap on where it says continue without access because that function is not going to work. And then it brings you to a screen where you can edit the skin of your character. Now just to keep things simple, I'm going to tap on blue here and just change these eyes of this skin to blue. And you can zoom in and zoom out and then kind of rotate around and customize the skin in whatever way you would like. And then when you're done, what you're going to do is tap on the save icon next to the name of it in the upper left hand corner. It looks like a little cloud. And now it's saved. If I tap the arrow back to the left, you can see the different projects that I have in here. There are three little dots I can tap on here and tap on install. And then what this does is it's trying to bring it over to your Minecraft. It doesn't work just perfectly on the education edition. So what it did do though, is it saved it to my camera roll. So if I open up my photos app, you'll see here that I have this very strange looking file. This is actually going to be useful. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go to a website that is provided in the description of this video and it allows you to create a file that's going to work in Minecraft. So I'm going to name mine and <clears throat> the skin pack name is the category that it's going to be listed in the app. So if you type, type in something, maybe you could say custom skin. And then the version number, you can just put in 1.0. For the image upload, you're going to go to your photo library and tap on that image that we just created. And then you can kind of see a little preview of your character here. And then tap on where it says download pack. Tap on download once again. A little arrow popped up here in the upper right hand corner. If you tap on the magnifying glass, it'll bring you to that file and it called it custom skin because that's what I named the file when I was creating it. And I need to move this. So I held down on it and I'm going to click move and I need to move that to my Minecraft education edition folder. So I'm going to tap on copy. If I tap on my iPad and in the Minecraft folder, I'm going to see that I have that skin. It's in the right folder and it's ready to go. The last step I have to do is hold down on it here, tap on share, and then you should have Minecraft Education Edition listed there. Along the top it says import started, and then it will tell me if it was successful or not. If I tap on the little clothes hanger on the right near where it has my little avatar, I can scroll to the very bottom. I made that category called custom skin, so it's going to show me that skin that I created. I tap on confirm, and then that is what my character looks like here in my Minecraft world. So that's all you need to do to create a custom skin in Minecraft Education Edition.